Are they still trading in Zurich? Have the Aussies gone to bed yet? How are the world's currency markets shaking out against the dollar? The euro? The Swiss franc? These are just a few questions that are easily answered with the Think or Swim Forex Global Currency Map. Let's start with finding and adding the map. First, in the left-hand sidebar, click on the wrench at the top to enter the layout configuration mode. You will see an overlay that allows you to configure, add, and delete new gadgets. Focus on one of the small boxes in the middle of each gadget window and click on the left-hand controller that has the plus sign in it. This adds a new gadget window below the one you clicked on. Click on the wrench at the top of your screen again to turn off the configuration mode. Now let's change the gadget. Clicking on Gadgets opens a selector menu to Change Gadget, Navigate Downward, and select FX Currency Map from the list. Now that the currency map is visible, let's get our bearings, starting at the top and working down. The currency toggle here at the right side of the gadget window allows you to select a quote currency, also called the counter currency, for the component. The quoted currency illustrates a comparison to all other currencies viewable on the map. These other symbols along the top of the map are expressed as the base currency. Each quote currency is compared to one unit of base currency. For example, if we enter US dollar as our quoted currency in the component box and hover over the euro section of the map, we see the euro US dollar pair in the pop up menu. The euro is denoted as the base currency, and the US dollar shown is the counter currency. Below the currency toggle is a rendered map. This illustrates our planet with the major currencies from around the world overlaid in even divisions, spanning from the US dollar on the left to the New Zealand dollar, or Kiwi, on the right. Hovering the mouse over any one of the map divisions will pop up a window with more detail. Here you will see the full symbol of the currency pair, the current last sale, and net change on the day that calculates from midnight central time. The popover also provides a major city name from the base currency's country and the current time of day in said country. More importantly, displayed is the current market open and close status for the selected home country. The markets for currency pairs are open to trade from Sunday afternoon to Friday afternoon. The flag located on the map corresponds to the counter currency selected. The base currency measurement never changes, so it will not be displayed on the map. The bars in each region indicate the change of currency, moving up or down in relation to the flag or counter currency. Therefore, the bars in each map region indicates the change of the counter currency relative to the base currency. Below the map is a watch list of the corresponding currency pairs illustrated on the map. If you want to customize the columns in the watch list, you can left click on the dot in the header row or right click anywhere in the header and select Customize. You now have access to the power of Think or Swim's watch lists from here. Now that we are oriented, let's dive in and take a deeper look at the relative strength measure on the map. A key feature to remember is that the direction of the graph implies the strength of the currency pair today. A green arrow indicates the net change based on the last sale observed and that the currency selected on the map is stronger than the counter currency entered in the upper right against component box. A red arrow illustrates the map currency has become weaker than the counter currency. This is not always the same sign as the net change. Let's take a look at an example. Look at this one. Here, the US dollar versus Canadian dollar shows a green arrow on the map, meaning that the Canadian dollar is stronger than the US dollar today. However, hovering over the Canadian dollar region, the popover shows us that the US dollar versus Canadian dollar pair is down today. To understand why, let's expand on our previous definition of forex pairs for a second. In forex trading, 
Currencies are quoted in pairs, such as euro versus U.S. dollar, to communicate the facts quickly. The first currency is called the base currency, in this case the EUR, which stands for euro. The USD, which stands for the U.S. dollar, is listed second and is considered the quote or counter currency. The quote currency pricing is found by determining how many units are needed to equal one unit of the base currency. In basic terms, if it takes one U.S. dollar 50 cents to purchase one euro, then you would say the euro versus U.S. dollar pair is equal to 1.5 over 1 or quoted at 1.5. So in our example, US dollar versus Canadian dollar now takes slightly less Canadian dollars to buy one US dollar than it did this morning. 